A big win for the Trump administration as one of the world's biggest manufacturers announces plans for a plant in the Badger State. It will be about the biggest there is anywhere. Taiwan-based Foxconn will build a $10 billion plant, creating LCD panels and 13,000 jobs, according to Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Billions of dollars in state tax incentives helped make it happen. This is a great day for America. It is a great day for Wisconsin, and it's a great day for Foxconn. It's the kind of thing that Trump has promised, recreating American manufacturing jobs that fled decades ago. American companies found cheap labor sources elsewhere, along with higher profit margins. In fact, that's exactly what America's richest company, Apple, looked for when producing its iPhones and iPads. So it turned to none other than Foxconn to do it. Some of the world's favorite tech gadgets made on the cheap by hundreds of thousands of low-paid workers in factories in southern China. CNN was granted access to one of the secretive campuses back in 2010. The workers are little more than the machines there. The employees live and work in the same place. Several years ago, the company dealt with a rash of worker suicides amidst activist claims of being severely overworked and underpaid. Foxconn maintains their workers are treated well, and they instituted some changes aimed at reducing worker stress. Any plant built in the U.S. would, of course, be subject to much more stringent labor laws, like higher wages and less hours. But questions still remain over how much of a boon to Wisconsin's economy this will be. Despite Governor Walker's talk of 13,000 jobs, Foxconn itself is only promising 3,000, with only the potential for 10,000 more. Skilled laborers are needed to fill those jobs. It's not clear if Wisconsin, or any state for that matter, has that kind of workforce ready to go. And Foxconn has talked for years about moving manufacturing to the U.S., even promising a $30 million Pennsylvania plant back in 2013. It's yet to be built. That's also ignoring Foxconn's penchant for automation. The company has slashed tens of thousands of jobs worldwide in favor of robots over the years, the kind of moves analysts tell CNN will happen again and again in the coming years. For now, though, all we have is the announcement of several thousand jobs amidst a presidential promise to create them. And of course, well-paid, stable work is a good thing for everyone. It's just not completely clear yet that Foxconn can deliver on that in the United States. Matt Rivers, CNN, Beijing.